Hello everyone and welcome back to The Sims 4 Cats and Dogs The Create a Pet Creations series and today we have some desserts in mind some delicious desserts that I actually managed to enjoy over the last week when we had Thanksgiving break and oh my goodness you guys it felt so weird to be eating a pumpkin pie sitting at the dinner table and all I could think was that I needed to make a pumpkin pie Pomeranian! <laughs> Apparently you can take Siri away from work, but you can't take the work away from Siri because I have been thinking about this little one for almost a solid week ever since we started whipping up the delicious desserts that we enjoyed for our Thanksgiving week break. If you guys also enjoyed a Thanksgiving week break with some delicious food in the United States, as I know you Canadians have celebrated much earlier in the season, then let me know what you had. I'm really curious and I'm really curious when it comes to making the dogs, one of the things that we have been doing it so often when we have been making all the different breeds and making randomized mixed breeds is that we've ended up with a lot of animals that sort of make us think about desserts or even broccoli in the case of a certain puppers that we just had in the random genetics challenge and knowing that so many of them just came off as like uh, the rocket pops the popsicles or cupcakes or like strawberry cake I decided why don't we just go ahead and straight up properly make oh my gosh not this whatever this is this wasn't what I meant to do <laughs> I take it back I just wanted a Pomeranian I just well you're really beautiful actually and I really love whatever the heck you are oh my gosh this is a gorgeous animal uh, but I actually want a straight up Pomeranian like a purebred Pomeranian that's what we're going for that's not what we're getting now apparently uh, I have already messed this up this is why you shouldn't let me in the kitchen if you ask me uh, you never know what is happening <laughs> okay wait you turn it off okay that's that's better all right well you're really adorable actually so you can stay we're gonna you know when you're playing a video game and you make the wrong meal and you have like the the rotten meal or you have like the rock hard meal this is kind of like my my spoiled meal or whatever you're going to call it burnt food we're gonna call him burnt uh like little burnt uh, biscuits there we go so this is burnt biscuits my first attempt at making a pumpkin pie Pomeranian and why I didn't really spend a lot of time in the kitchen this Thanksgiving. But also I didn't spend a lot of time in the kitchen because we were visiting someone else's home and also the water heater blew up in the basement and it, there was a bit of a kerfuffle. But thankfully the kerfuffle did not stand in the way of being able to enjoy some pumpkin and pecan pie. So to celebrate the season, I'm going to now make our pumpkin pie Pomeranian now that I have made burnt biscuits by accident that's kind of hilarious and just kind of chit chat with you guys for a moment and I kind of waffled between huh do you get it waffled <laughs> oh no Siri why but I kind of waffled between which Pomeranian I wanted to make for the pumpkin pie Pomeranian and this one actually turns out just fine because look at the little floofy bits on his tail and look at that little tor on his head and look at that twirly tail. I think that the twirly tail is the perfect spot to declare this section of the puppers. Let's let's see how big we can make that tail. But we're going to make this little twirly tail that he's got on the back, the whipped cream dollop that is going to be on top of his head. Head. So let me go ahead and actually let's start making our pumpkin pie Pomeranian and see how he turns out. Oh, that's really bright. That's a little bit brighter than I was going for. Let's try again. All right. Well, clearly I need to kind of fiddle with this just a little bit, but we'll get there. But I would love, love, love to know what you guys actually had for your holiday. I never really was one who really took like specific holidays super seriously not no Siri Siri don't make a pun out of your own name behave but then I fell in love with my beloved Chips and he and his family really celebrate this time of year. They celebrate the seasons. They celebrate the shift of traditions of Thanksgiving and of Christmas. And we have vegan buffets because everything we ate since the entire family 
all the members there, like the whole big giant table full of people are were all vegan and have been vegan, some of them for 30 years. Uh, that's his mom who is a doctor actually. So she's really, she's really, really talented at that. But we had some delicious food. So all right, I'm, I'm clearly just going to be thinking about the food and rambling, but let me go ahead and see if we can change the coloring on this puppy to remind me of the delicious pumpkin pie that I had for Thanksgiving. And if you guys could tell me if you like pumpkin pie, pie or not I would love to see the poll in fact I'll even put up a poll do you enjoy a good pumpkin pie yes no never tried it like I would love to know I would absolutely love to know mummy dog than a pumpkin pie but this was going to be my first attempt you guys and I just kind of wanted you to see where it was going where I was kind of heading with this to kind of get an idea of what my plan was and how it just does not work out I mean he's a cutie pie huh huh you get it but I just don't think that putting the whipped cream on top of his head is going to work after all and the reason that I shifted from doing the back of his tail as the whipped cream was because I was looking at a picture of pie and I was like well you know pie does have that crust that goes up along the back but I think we're actually going to fix this poor puppers who has endured so much by going ahead and coming in there we go there we go. We'll clean off all that whipped cream off the top of his head and we'll zip in there, clear away the orange, and he's actually a much simpler puppy to make. And originally I was actually going to take the fur type from the dog that has the afro in the middle of the head and put that there and then do that as the whipped cream. But you can't do that on the Pomeranian, I found out, which is just fine. Just fine. And we already tried making a mixed breed with burnt biscuits. So look at how much better this looks already and you know I think I'm actually going to leave the back where you have the crust coming up the back where it is because I actually think that's quite adorable and look at this look at this little whipped cream tail we've got going on here oh my goodness that is just so adorable let me just come on down there we go. <gasps> he's so cute. Oh my gosh, he's even cuter than I, I thought he was going to be. That makes me so happy. Let me get that tail up nice and elongated so that we can go ahead and paint it. Oh my goodness, I'm so happy. But I love pumpkin pie. Uh, I love pumpkin pie because it is actually my mom's favorite pie. It's not my favorite pie. My favorite pie until this last weekend was pumpkin pie uh, and apple or apple pie. Excuse me. My mom's favorite pie is pumpkin pie and her birthday is also on Halloween. So I'm so in love with pumpkin pies because to me, they mean celebrating my mother's birthday and her having a grand old time about it. But... Uh, 
I haven't had pumpkin pie until this this last week in ages because my beloved Chips, who I share my life with, he hates pumpkin. He doesn't like pumpkin pie. Can you believe that ridiculousness? It just absolutely blew me away, but it's true. He does not like pumpkin pie. And so because of that, because my beloved boyfriend, best friend, love of my life has not enjoyed pie uh, ever, we did not have pumpkin pie for years. So it was quite exciting to have, but I just find that so shocking. Like he, it's not just a little bit, he doesn't like pumpkin pie. He doesn't like pumpkin pie to the point where we've never even consumed it for like five years now. How ridiculous is that? All right. Maybe if I just go ahead. Oh, he's so cute. Look, we even changed his little nose. Oh gosh. Let's make his little nose a little bit darker. Kind of the way that people will often make, uh, there. Oh, that's adorable. Or maybe we should make it like a little whipped cream dollop. Let me see. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Does that compliment? Does that compliment his little? Ah, he's so cute. It does compliment his little tail. All right, there we go. A couple more tweaks and I am very happy with the outcome. I, I can't decide on the little nose. I think I'm going to leave the little nose a little white nose for now, but I think making him uh, just all one color at the front actually makes him even cuter. But what would a pumpkin pie Pomeranian's traits be? Oh, glutton probably. <laughs> definitely glutton. I think that that would definitely be uh, a trait that you could expect from a pumpkin pie dessert dog. And then I also think uh, maybe friendly because I feel like pumpkin pie is just something that's, you know, you share and you feel really friendly and happy about sharing. And then maybe couch potato because you're going to feel a little bit full after enjoying a good old pumpkin pie, don't you think? You're going to you're going to be ready to have a little bit of a lie down uh, just like. After Thanksgiving, you stuff yourself full of all of the delicious food. It was fantastic. All right. What, can we see your little... Oh, he's so cute, guys. I love this. I think making some dessert dogs definitely will be up my alley. And we'll have to see how many more burnt biscuits we accidentally end up with while I am trying to make some more delicious desserts. But not just dessert dogs, actually. We did have pumpkin pie, which I rambled on and on about, but basically I love pumpkin pie. I think it's fantastic because it reminds me of my mom and it makes me feel super like loyal to all of the family adventures we've had with her birthdays on Halloween. And then she always gets excited because we make a whole bunch of pumpkin pies for her birthday as her birthday cake, in quotation marks. And then she gets really excited because we come around to Thanksgiving and she gets her favorite thing all over again within the month, which is so funny. But we made pumpkin pie. And the other thing that we actually had that my beloved Chips' sister made, which blew me out of the water, was chocolate pecan pie. I love pecans, but I don't like chocolate. So I was rolling my eyes, sighing heavily. No, I was really grateful that they even made it, don't worry. But I pretty much figured that I wouldn't enjoy the uh, chocolate pecan vegan pie that we had for Thanksgiving as well. But little did I know that my world was about to be changed forever by the delicious pecan pie we had. So I, it's in celebration of that amazing recipe that I'm going to have to somehow get from her, I am going to actually make... Dun dun dun! A new kitty cat! And we're actually going to be making a chocolate pecan pie cat, which I'm pretty excited about. It looks like there's a lot of really good... Oh, you're so playful and cute and I love you, American Bobtail. Oh my gosh, that's adorable. <laughs> but I would really love to go ahead and make a another dessert animal. And I want to go for something like this, like this Siberian who doesn't need to go ahead and hack up a hairball, please. <laughs> But I want to make a cat that looks as rich as that delicious chocolate pie was and has adorable pecans down the back. So we're going to see if we can make a complimentary animal to our new dessert dog, pumpkin pie. And this is going to be a uh, chocolate, chocolate, pecan, cho what the heck? <laughs> chocolate. There we go. Chocolate pecan. So this is chocolate pecan pie the cat. And let's see if we can transform it from a Siberian into a very rich, delicious chocolate pie.
<laughs> well, that turned out to be a little bit harder than I thought it would be. But ta-da! And now we have, my friends, a chocolate pecan pie. Did you know that pecans come in a wide variety of colors? I actually even used the color picker in Photoshop to get the exact hex code to be able to try to get the right color. But it ended up making the cat look kind of orange. So I hope you can forgive me if this seems like a exceptionally uh, pinkish chocolate pie. But I assure you, it was actually kind of like this rich, velvety chocolate appearance. It was so good. I think I even have some pictures that I can put up on Instagram. But I like it. It kind of looks like coffee beans down the cat's back. I was trying to go a little bit for something that was more pecan-y. I wonder... Oh, no! Put that back! Oh, my gosh. I did not mean to remove all of my carefully drawn lines so quickly. But it didn't occur to me. I kept trying to make them look like pecans, look like pecans put this down put that down it didn't occur to me to try to make little lines through it until pretty far along so even though that was a little bit painful for me to do because I, I kept going this is a mistake this is all a mistake just tell everyone that you didn't eat anything for <laughs> for the holidays you're making a mistake Siri even though I kept feeling like that, I do think that it's important to show you guys kind of like what I'm experimenting with here in Create a Pet. And maybe you guys can draw some inspiration or maybe you guys could even show me your animals that you are whipping together. Uh, especially if they happen to be themed around some really fun holiday treats. Ooh, I should make a candy cane puppy next that would be so cool or maybe a candy cane Maine Coon cat oh my gosh candy cane cats would be adorable I would love to see your guys interpretation of a candy cane cat and then maybe at some point in the future we will actually be able to come together and we will be able to create a really fun um a really fun cat cafe series where all of the cats are little desserts. That's something I've had in mind for a little while and I think it would be really fun to kind of play with. Here Wonderful. All right. I think that's as close as we're going to get on this pie. Um, this really makes me think that I need to work on my cooking skills, to be completely honest. But at least we've got a good start. I really like him. Like I said, hope you guys enjoyed. It was just a fun little experiment to get back into the swing of things. If only I can just reach. There we go. That side of the kitty cat. There. And now, what would I assign to this beautiful, rich, velvety, super fluffy and soft chocolate pecan pie? Well, we'll put down glutton because I would have eaten that whole thing if people would have uh, been willing to let me because it was so amazing and so delicious. And I'm also going to put down affectionate because it was just so rich and sweet and I absolutely loved it. And I'm going to put down curious because I really wasn't sure what I was going to think of eating it. And it turned out to be delicious. I also need to make a mental note to try out some uh, custom content kitty cat eyes coming up because there were no brown eyes for the cats to use and um, let's just say I've been seeing a whole lot of very very unique and interesting custom content for The Sims 4 so I will definitely be downloading that kitty cat custom content and sharing some of it with you guys soon. So all right we have the adorable burnt biscuits our accidental puppy pumpkin pie pomeranian and a delicious chocolate pecan pie velvety kitty cat uh which actually don't don't eat the cat then don't lick the cat just admire the cat <laughs> and go eat some real pie all right guys thanks for hanging out with me while i was feeling like being silly and i will see you guys next time Bye bye